I work mostly with patients with chronic illnesses like long COVID, fibromyalgia, and Lyme disease where promising a cure would be irresponsible of me. Promise it's promise. So the clinical outcome we usually aim for is called remission. This means symptoms are gone, or as close to gone as they can be, and quality of life is steadily improving. Because my patient demographic is mostly people within the same disease cluster, I end up saying a lot of the same things to people every day, which is where I get most of the ideas for what turns into this video content. And today's episode of that is, you're feeling great, but it's about to get colder, so listen up. Winter is coming. You've probably heard stories about grandpa's trick knee forecasting the weather. Folks with chronic illness kind of have a trick body, and through years of struggling, they've learned to be more sensitive to the environments around them, and traditional forms of medicine describe this and how to deal with it very well. Seasonal changes in life are normal. In the winter, deciduous trees lose all their leaves and all their vital activity goes into the roots. Bears torpor, and even the mighty tardigrade hibernates. He's ready to hibernate. Humans with chronic illness feel more vulnerable and are more prone to a flare of symptoms. So I don't pronounce my patients to be in remission until they make it through a winter without a relapse. And here is how I help that happen. Number one, keep warm, especially in your feet. An old saying in medicine goes that when a tree dies, it's the roots that go first. You need to keep ample blood supply down there to prevent developing neuropathy, which is associated with not so good changes in your brain. So wear thick socks and slippers, massage your feet, eat ginger, and consider doing a botanical foot soak with plants like acris that promote neurogenesis a few days of the week. Number two, work less. I know this might sound about as helpful as someone saying, try not being sick, but hear me out because we are not supposed to work as hard in the winter as we do in spring and summer. And before the modern era, humans generally didn't, and 150 years of being overworked doesn't make up for a few million more of evolution. Well, I have been pretty overworked lately. Winter time is supposed to be restful. Snuggled up next to a warm hearth, mending clothes, stirring soup, and gossiping about your neighbors. Being in 24-7 sympathetic dominance through the nap time of the year is not good for your health, so if you can't work fewer hours and you can't fix your ongoing extended family drama, the key thing to do here is make the rest time that you do have more restful. Practice good sleep hygiene. When you take a break, don't take your phone with you unless it's to listen to calming music. Meditate for one minute a day, maybe one minute twice a day. All of this helps and doing it consistently can help a lot. Winter may be coming, but spring is coming later. Do what you can now to prepare for that because you'll feel a lot better then and hopefully each year following.